Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Samar Ajawi. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received the Speaker of the Council of Representatives, Ms. Fawziya Zainal, and the Chairman of the Shura Council, Ali bin Saleh Saleh, and members of both councils at Qadibiya Palace. His Royal Highness commended the support of the Shura Council and the Council of Representatives to the Kingdom's national development. His Royal Highness Prince Salman noted cooperation between the executive and legislative authorities which supports the kingdom's comprehensive development led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince noted that Bahrain is on a path of development to realize the kingdom's ambition. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince also commended the role of the Council of Representatives and the Shura Council for their contributions to the kingdom's present and future. A number of senior officials also attended the meeting. الله الحمد يعني عندنا الكثير اللي طمن والكثير اللي بعد يعني لا زال لازم نعمله سوء ف يعني حقيقة لك الفوزية ولك علي وكلكم أجمع اسم الشيخ محمد كنت شركاء في أكبر تحدي يعني واجهتها المملكة في البحرين الحقيقة كل الدول العالمية تحدي عالمي شاهدناه في حياتنا وشاهد التاريخ المعاصر وأنجزت بداية الشكر موصول لكم جميعا أنا أعتبركم كلهم من طريق البحرين اللي قمتوا بالواجب في الوقت الصعب ووقفوا مع أخوانكم وأخواتكم اللي كانوا يسرون اللي في رعاية المرضى وفي حماية الصحيح من المملكة هذه السنتين ما كانت سنة على يعني أي دولة على أي مجتمع والآن يعني مثل ما يقولون وجود الأدوية تحور الفيروس يعني خرجنا من من شدة الصدمة إلى مرحلة التعايش مع الفيروس بأفضل الطرق والأدوية موجودة والتطعيم موجود وكل أنواع موجودة متوفرة فا يعني إذا ناخذ نفس ونقف من هاللحظة يجب أن يعني نحمد من الله سبحانه وتعالى ونشكر جلالة الملك ونشكر حقيقة كل مواطن ومواطنة وكل مقيم اللي ساهم في هذا العمل لأن الحقيقة الكل قام بالدور فهذه هذه البداية هذا يعني فترة الآن يعني لازم على الأقل شوي اللي يقومنا عنه وننظر إلى المستقبل والحديات المستقبل فهذا يعني نهاية دورة وهذا الدورة اللي بداها المرحوم خليفة دورة تاريخية وأنا شاكر يعني من من عمق القلب التعاون والآراء البناء والمناقشات المفيدة اللي يعني تجعل القرار يكون قرار أكثر صلاة أو أكثر استدامة فهذه ميزة في المؤسسات اللي مجلس الشورى ومجلس مؤسسات فعلا لازم نحميها بكل ما نقدر نقدمه وبكل ما نستطيع نسويه ففي هذا الشهر المنفوذ انا اعرف في نهايه الدوره ان انتم بالكم دائما تلعب 
بيكون في سرعة الإنجاز والوصول إلى يعني الأهداف المرجوة وتمثيل ناخبيه أسكن في مجلس النواب واليوم نشوف تحدي الغلا تحدي كثر ارتباطات المواصلات العالمية اللي تثبت المشاكل قاع أسعار الطاقة قاع أسعار بعض الأساسيات مثل الأسعار وأنا يعني بطمنكم أن بالعمل صور احنا بنتغلب حتى على هذا الشيء. انا استمعت البارحه وهم مشكورين بفرقه التجار واستمعت يعني التزامهم الصريح لعدم رفع الاسعار على المواطنين وهذا شيء طبيعي يعني التزام اللجنه خاصه اللجنه الاغذيه يمكن اني اعرف لجنه الاغذيه لان يعني حق الاسر المحتاجه هذا الاساس. من بعد الان المسكن غير فهذا التحدي يعني بيبقى عندنا فتره لكن ما بيكون صار الحد اللي يعني البعض يتوقع واقدر اطمنكم بعد ان المؤشرات على الاقل اللي احنا نشوفها السابقه مو باللاحقه اللي احنا نشوفها جايه المستقبليه تؤشر ان الاقتصاد ترى قاعد يتعافر سرعة وهذا شيء حلو فانا متوقع ان الارقام لا حق الربع الاول من سنه 2022 بتكون ارقام يعني تريح وتريح على جميع المستويات انا ما اتكلم فقط على الناتج المحلي هذا الناتج المحلي ما يحل لكن يعني حتى في رواتب الناس في توظيف الناس انا متوقع الارقام بتكون يعني الحمد لله تامن بالخير وتخلي الناس تتفائل بالمستقبل فانا ابي اطلب يعني من اول ما تطلع هذه الارقام نفسها من ان شاء الله باسرع وقت ممكن نبي نبين للناس ان مستقبلهم ان شاء الله زاهد ومصالحهم لكن لولا تعاون الجميع هذا لا يكون هم. فمملكه البحرين بقيادة جلالة الملك مشروعة بأهلها وبسلوكها وبحضرتها من أقاليمها فاحنا يعني بالتزام لبعضنا البعض والنقد البناء والاحترام المتبادل نقدر نوصل إلى الأهل وأنا ما عندي أي شيء وكلنا شفنا الله يسلمكم ويخليكم يعني قوة فكرة الفريق الواحد والفريق الواحد دائما يكتب لكن في يعني طرق وانتم يعني خير ما تكتبوا النهج للتواصل والتوافق بين بعض ان شاء الله يعني الحياه وهي تعود لطبيعتها لازم نستذكر يعني افضل الامور خاصه هذا في هذا الشهر القضيه أنا فاقد هذا المجال، جلالة الملك فاقد هذا المجال، هذا يعني النهج سلوك تربينا في مجالس آبائنا وأجدادنا وأنتم كمان، ف يعني كيف يعني أو شلون أعبر عن سعادتي إن أنا أكون بين في هذا المجمع الليلة، وأتمنى الحقيقة للجميع التوفيق في هذا الشهر المبروك. وخلونا ان شاء الله نواصل ونبتدي يعني مثل ما يقولون من حيث ما انتهينا كل يوم انا ابتدي من حيث ما انتهينا ان شاء الله ما نرجع يعني باذن الله يعني مثل ما يقولون رسالتي وانا مطمئن وانا متفائل يعني هذه هذه بعد اهل و يعني نصبح الصبح وننام في الليل المواطن في الدنيا وفي الباطن
The Speaker of the House of Representatives, Fawzi Azain, affirmed the Parliament's keenness to strengthen the methodology of national action and effective and fruitful cooperation with the esteemed government in the implementation of the Royal Directives from His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, calling for unifying the official efforts for the sake of citizens and the future of the Kingdom of Bahrain. The Speaker's words were made on the occasion of the meeting that took place between the Speaker and members of the House of Representatives and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. Speaker Zainal praised His Highness's efforts in upgrading the march of joint national action within a comprehensive national strategy that stimulates aspects of integration and consensus between the legislative and executive authorities in a manner that ensures support of the national economy in facing challenges and developing the outcomes of the modern legislative system within an accelerated path. For his part, the chairman of the Shura Council, Mr. Ali bin Saleh al Saleh, affirmed that cooperation between the integration in the performance of the national responsibilities of the legislative and executive authorities is a consistent approach in the march of national action and a solid base for activating the directives of His Majesty the King. He said it is imperative to develop the national legislation and laws that serve as a main stay for government programs and strategies aimed at building on the comprehensive renaissance achieved in Bahrain. Mr. Saleh praised the royal support that the legislative authority enjoys, enabling it to continue its legislative responsibilities, highlighting the close cooperation and positive joint work between the legislative and executive authorities, thanks to the attention and direct follow-up of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and the keenness of His Royal Highness to enhance consultation and to create additional frameworks for coordination between government agencies and institutions and the legislative authorities. Deputized by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, His Majesty the King's Representative for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Honor Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, attended the Ramadan gathering organized by the society, this is Bahrain Society, at the Our Lady of Arabia Cathedral in Awali. His Highness Sheikh Nasser said that Bahrain in the era of His Majesty the King has become an oasis of security and safety and a country of coexistence among all religions, beliefs and sects. His Highness paid tribute to His Majesty the King for promoting cohesion and human coexistence among all followers of different religions who see the Kingdom of Bahrain as a safe and preferred place for them, stressing the Kingdom's keenness to spread the principles of peace and love with everyone and mutual respect. His Highness Sheikh Nasser said the Kingdom of Bahrain has always welcomed everyone on its land for centuries and opened its arms to embrace all religions and sects. He noted the Kingdom's efforts and pioneering role and global initiatives that contribute to the consolidation and promotion of a culture of rapprochement, coexistence and interfaith dialogue for the good of humankind. This is Bahrain Society Chairperson Betsy Matheson hailed the security, safety and coexistence that reign in Bahrain thanks to the great efforts made by His Majesty the King who transformed the kingdom into a global model of peaceful coexistence among all and established the principles of meaningful dialogue until the Bahraini society became known for its moderation and love for all. She added that everything in Bahrain lives in an atmosphere of freedom to practice religious rights and beliefs with a freedom that is unparalleled anywhere in the world. The ceremony opened with the royal anthem of the Kingdom of Bahrain and a short welcome speech by Mrs. Matheson. Then a multi-religious prayer for peace was held, followed by an anthem of peace by the Cathedral Choir.
His Majesty the King's Representative for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, Oil and Gas Holding Company Chairman, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received the Deputy Saudi Minister of Energy, Abd Al Sadoun. His Highness Sheikh Nasser said that Bahrain is continuing efforts to strengthen the partnership with the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia in various fields, based on deep root, coherent, and historical relations binding the two brotherly countries. During the meeting, they discussed issues of common interest in various energy fields and ways to enhance cooperation and partnership in these fields in order to achieve the directives of the leadership of the two brotherly countries. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa delegated the Deputy Prime Minister, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa, to open the 28th Bahrain Heritage Festival held under the theme Our Golden Heritage. His Highness the Deputy Prime Minister expressed pride at the opening of the festival on behalf of His Majesty the King and stressed the royal interest in this national cultural event, which was first launched in 1992. The Deputy Prime Minister stressed the importance of the festival in revitalizing the cultural scene and showcasing Bahrain's rich heritage, civilization and openness to different cultures. His Highness affirmed the importance of this vital national event that aims to preserve the cultural and national identity through its various programs that highlight Bahraini heritage and helps pass it down the generations. He praised the dedicated efforts made by the Bahrain Authority for Culture and Antiquities, President Sheikha May bint Mohammed Al Khalifa, to organize the festival and shed light on the kingdom's golden heritage. The opening ceremony was also attended by the Bahrain Cultural and Antiquities Authority President Sheikha May bint Mohammed Al Khalifa and Muharraq Governor Salman bin Isa bin Hindi Al Manai, in addition to high level diplomats, cultural stakeholders, and the media. Dhaka President Sheikh Hamey expressed deepest thanks and gratitude to His Majesty the King for patronizing the National Heritage Festival 2022, noting that the Royal Directives in support of Baka led efforts to conserve Bahrain Arab identity. She also thanked the Deputy Patron, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa, for his presence and support to the cultural events in Bahrain.
celebrating the 28th edition of the Heritage Festival under the patronage of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. It's a great privilege uh, for this a special patronage of His Majesty and today we are celebrating in this historic site in Arad Fort um, under the theme of our golden heritage. As you can see all the elements within this year's edition of the Heritage Festival focuses on the beauty and the elegance of the Bahraini gold and this is an aspect of our intangible heritage that we wish to explore more and introduce our audiences um, through a beautiful exhibition that has been specially done for the Heritage Festival, in addition to all the activities, the beautiful shops, the amazing vendors, the talented Bahraini designers, and uh, people who are dealing with the food industry, they're all here with us in Arad Fort. And I look forward to receiving audiences and seeing people enjoy the beautiful Ramadan nights here in Arad. Under the directives of the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Works and Youth Affairs, Honorary President of the Royal Equestrian and Endurance Federation. His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the championship of the late His Highness Sheikh Faisal bin Hamad Al Khalifa for the beauty of purebred Arabian horses kicked off, held under the patronage of the President of the Royal Federation, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Abdullah Al Khalifa. The events took place at the Military Sports Federation Square in Ar Rafa. The championship comes within the framework of His Highness Sheikh Nasser's keenness to continue the prosperity of the Arabian horse sport in the kingdom and its positive impact on Bahraini international participations. It is also in commemoration to the supporter of the sport, the late His Highness, Sheikh Faisal bin Hamad Al Khalifa. The owners and breeders expressed their thanks and appreciation to His Highness Sheikh Nasser and His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Abdullah Al Khalifa for the efforts of their Highnesses in continuing to advance the sport of horse beauty in the kingdom. The winners of the first places were crowned after the conclusion of each round. The tournament will continue on its second day and shall witness a fierce competition. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdel Latif bin Rashid Azayani, and the Minister of Foreign Affairs of the Russian Federation, Sergei Lavrov, held in Moscow a session of official talks on the occasion of the official visit of the Minister of Foreign Affairs to the Russian Federation. During the meeting, the Minister of Foreign Affairs conveyed the greetings and appreciation of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa to the Russian Federation President. Vladimir Putin and their wishes to the Russian Federation and its people of security, stability and peace. 
The minister expressed his happiness at visiting the Russian Federation, praising the relations of joint cooperation between the two countries, the development and growth they are witnessing in various fields, and the continuous efforts made by the two countries and great interest in strengthening bilateral cooperation relations in the various service of common interests. He expressed the importance of exchanging views between the two sides on regional and international issues and affairs that threaten security and stability in Europe and the Middle East, in particular the situation in Ukraine, which has become a threat to regional peace and security, global energy supplies, the global economy, food imports, in addition to its effects on the humanitarian situation of civilians, stressing that the Kingdom of Bahrain believes in the need to continue efforts to stop the escalation and to continue the approach of direct negotiations, dialogue and diplomatic methods to stop the war and reach a permanent peace settlement so that peace, security and stability prevails in all countries of Europe. For his part, Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov expressed the Russian Federation's appreciation for the visit of the Minister of Foreign Affairs of the Latif Rashid Ziani, praising the friendship and cooperation on the relations that bind the two countries and the efforts made by the two sides to expand the horizon of joint cooperation and develop in various fields for their benefits, wishing the kingdom continued progress and prosperity. During the meeting, bilateral relations of cooperation between the two sides were discussed and ways of enhancing them in various fields, reviewing the development in the security situation in Ukraine and the efforts being made through direct negotiation to stop the war and reach a peaceful settlement for the conflict. The two sides also discussed developments in the political security situation in the Middle East, the conflicts that exist and the efforts being made to settle the disputes and achieve peace, security, stability and prosperity for all of the Middle East people, including Palestine, Yemen, Syria and Libya, as well as the progress of the negotiations on the Iranian nuclear file in addition to issues related to common interest. The political affairs under secretary at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Sheikh Abdullah bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, participated in the 151 session of the Ministerial Council of the Gulf Cooperation Council countries held at the headquarters of the GCC Secretariat in Riyadh. The meeting was shared by the Saudi Minister of Foreign Affairs, His Highness Prince Faisal bin Farhan Al Saud, the chairman of the current session. GCC countries ministers of foreign affairs and GCC secretary general Dr. Naif Faleh Mubarak Al Hajraf also attended the session. During the meeting, Dr. Sheikh Abdullah affirmed the keenness of the Kingdom of Bahrain under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to enhance the GCC strategic cooperation and integration, as well as adhere to the contents of the Al Ula Declaration and implement the vision of the custodian of the two holy mosques through completing the elements of economic unity defense and security systems and the coordination of political positions in a way that enhances the solidarity of the GCC countries and meets their aspirations for security, stability, unity and prosperity. He expressed Bahrain's appreciation for the efforts f of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia and its presidency of the current session of the GCC Council and its pioneering initiative in promoting joint GCC action preserving the unity and cohesion of the GCC bloc and maintaining security stability and stressing that it stands by the Arab and Islamic world as one side in the measures taken to protect security stability and defense of the Arab national security in the face of terrorism and foreign interference. The foreign ministers of the GCC countries also discussed the recommendations submitted by the relevant ministerial committees and the general secretariat and the implemented resolutions of the Supreme Council at its 42nd session in Riyadh regarding strengthening the GCC integration and following up on developments in dialogue and strategic relations with countries and international blocs and a statement on political positions on regional and international issues. Inspectors from the Ministry of Industry, Trade and Tourism in cooperation with the National Bureau for Revenue inspected 40 shops and commercial establishments in a number of vital commercial areas. During the inspection campaigns 15 violations were detected that required the imposition of administrative fines of up to 10,000 Bahraini dinars, according to the value-added law. In addition, some cases were monitored for close as a result of non-compliance with the application of the value-added tax, and accordingly, legal measures would be taken against the violating facilities. 
The Ministry of Industry, Trade and Tourism and the National Revenue Authority urges all establishments to adhere to the implementation of the mechanism of the transitional phase of value added and to deal efficiently and consciously in order to achieve the proper application of value added tax law.